Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. You gave us so many decent moments, amazing decks, and memes. The memes. On top of that, you also gave us a main character with a living father, of all things. That was a first, and as of writing of the script, the only time in the franchise that happened. I'm not counting Kazuma, since he was kinda dead until the last episode. However, before we get a bit deeper into today's topic, remember to like, comment and subscribe, since when the subscriber count is bigger so is my peen- <laughs> I mean my drive to make content. The Magician's Hands are a series of continuous spell cards used by Sakaki Yusho in Arc 5. Their main focus is to provide a continuous like negation for spells and traps. The entirety of the engine was released in the final Arc 5 set, kind of fitting considering those cards were used in the final arc of the show, Maximum Crisis. The cards have seen some play in Spellcaster decks as tech cards, however the engine as a whole haven't seen any amount of competitive success. When it comes to the engine itself, like I mentioned previously, it provides continuous like negation for spells and traps. That is done with the following cards. The more popular of the hands, the left hand, provides trap negation. I said it's the more popular, but it's just my personal biased opinion, mostly due to the fact that Secret Village of Spellcasters exists and that field spell can prevent activation of spells on its own. Similar to left hand, the right hand provides spell protection. This card is mostly used in variants that don't run the Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Since it provides a similar protection and doesn't occupy the field spell zone, it is a valid option in that regard. And finally, the card that ties all of it together. Restage's first effect is not that useful, it's just a one-time monster reborn for level 3 or level spellcaster. There are situations when this can be viable, but they're few and far between. The second fact is what makes this card, at the very least, decent. Since it can search one of the two hands when sent to the graveyard, it makes the engine much more accessible. The most important fact is the effect's trigger. Since it goes off when restage is sent to the graveyard and it doesn't specify by whose effect and from where, foolish burial goods is an acceptable way of using that. It can be also triggered by magician's souls. Since there's no competitive data regarding the engine, there's no definitive build I can provide you. For my personal use, I tend to go for three restage, one left hand and one right hand. Mostly due to the fact, like I already mentioned, Secret Village of Spellcasters is a thing, and that already fits into the right hand's job. When it comes to pros of the engine, the most notable one is the negation. Since it's a continuous like effect, it doesn't activate, so those spell cards can negate counter traps and spell speed for back row. The interaction with Magician's Souls is also a big upside for the engine. Since that monster basically became a part of most spellcaster focused decks and making use of its interaction with restage is really cool. The greatest con of this engine is the negation. I know, I know I said this name about the greatest pro, but the fact this is a mandatory negation of the first card of a specific type makes it useless against an opponent who can read. Maybe that's why this engine didn't see that much competitive success? Since the engine requires the use of a spellcaster type monster, I recommend for it to be used in a spellcaster deck. Duh! Something like Dogmatica, maybe Fortune Lady, Wind Witches, etc. The engine is also on the cheaper side, with Restage being the most expensive card due to having only one printing. Each copy of Restage is going to cost you 2 euros 21 cents or 2 dollars 64 cents, while each copy of the hands will net a price of around 1 euro 1 dollar 15. Make from that what you will and adjust the ratios for both your deck and your budget. That would be it for today. I hope you learned a few new magic tricks and can prevent the opponent from playing with the help of your new misdirection. Jekyll signing out. Peace!